is our first uh, collaboration cleanup with Great Art for Great Lakes and cleaning up Norfolk. Uh, we're collecting these little tiny bits of plastic as well as all the other beach litter. But we're setting this aside because in August we're going to take this and make it into a giant mosaic of our sturgeon and Lake Erie to illustrate the plastic pollution problem. adventure out and walk on the nice beach we had cleaned. But when we got there, we discovered that it was like we hadn't even cleaned at all. All the plastic that was in the lake had been washed up once again. And it was upsetting to the point where I decided that the plastic pollution problem in Lake Erie is not getting any better and needs to be addressed. back I came to my very first Potahawk and it was a wonderful event in a natural place and lots of boaters flock here it's quite amazing but then the aftermath really struck a chord with me it was shocking to see how much garbage cigarette butts uh, recyclables were left behind we do get to see a lot of uh, plastic pollution and, and other garbage in lakes so we know how uh, how bad that is for them experience for me. I had no clue and I'm hoping that when you leave today you will go out and you will just look look around you with different eyes. So look at those cigarette butts on the ground and think okay maybe next time I could you know grab some gloves and pick them up because nobody else is going to do it. Mostly this this is about you the community so I'm just so thankful for everybody that ever came out to one of our cleanups that followed our social media and commented on it, that just joined in on the conversation because that's what it's about, is just starting something new. So thank you so much. Over to you. <laughs> um, so this is a piece that is indicative of the power of the individual. Both our positive and our negative choices are represented in what you're about to see. The internal Lake Erie outline that's filled with plastic, it's filled with garbage. It's a spectacle of both beauty and repulsion. You'll see. <laughs> um, while we collectively have created this problem, i.e. the plastics and the microplastics in our waterways, uh, we also can collectively begin to rehabilitate once we recognize and implement those ways to remedy it. But it must start at the individual level. We must actively demonstrate whether our immediate convenience or our health and the environment are most valued. It looks pretty sturdy. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. 